Here's Obama today before a cabinet meeting. Some of you have heard this, some of you have not. But everybody needs to hear it. That's the point. Cut one, go. One of the things that I'll be emphasizing uh, in this meeting is the fact that uh, we are not just going to be waiting for legislation in order to make sure uh, that we're providing Americans uh, the kind of help that they need. Uh, I've got a pen and I've got a phone. Uh, and I can use that pen to sign executive orders uh, and take executive actions and administrative actions that move the ball forward. He's just announced that he is going to assume lawmaking powers. He's just announced that he is going to assume lawmaking powers. He does not recognize the majority in the House of Representatives. I don't know how much more clearly he can say it. You know what this is, folks? You know what this is? This is a gradual, quiet coup. That's what's taking place. It's gradual. It's quiet in the sense that it's nonviolent. But it's a coup. Here he is, cut two, Mr. Producer, go. One of the things that I'm going to be talking to my cabinet about is how do we use all the tools available to us, not just uh, legislation, in order to uh, advance uh, a mission that I think unifies all Americans, uh, the, the belief Stop. that... Stop. This, this is the common parlance of the dictator. Assuming that he represents all Americans, that he's a unifying figure that we just need to concentrate more power in his hands. He will decide what laws are good, what laws are bad. He will use executive orders to pass laws that Congress won't pass, and he will ignore laws he doesn't like, and he'll rewrite laws that he wants to rewrite, like Obamacare and so forth. This is the mindset and the language that dictators have. He assumes to speak for everybody. He's above politics. He's God's gift. He was put on earth to do just this. And yet, when you go back to the Constitution, oh, written by slave owners, men with wooden teeth, they say the opposite. They say, this is tyranny. I say, you are witnessing a gradual yet quiet coup. You just heard what he said.